Hello, I am that coaster queen, Jay Justine, aka Ben, and welcome to a slightly different vlog here on the channel. As you already probably know by the thumbnail and the title, my 30th birthday trip to uh, Blackpool Pleasure Beach didn't go quite as smoothly or as planned as we hoped. So because of that, the vlog is missing bits. So I'm gonna pop up like this, me from the future, hello! I'm basically just gonna fill in the gaps in between all the clips that I have already filmed. And obviously when we get to it, I will explain to you what happened to derail our day, to <laughs> ruin our time at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, to be quite honest with you. The reason that this vlog is so late is because I have wanted to leave as much time as possible for the park to get back to us and give us a response or an update. Um, but we'll be covering that when we get to it. So come along, tune in, enjoy. Here is the vlog of my 30th birthday to Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Roll the titles. Oh. Hello, 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 and welcome back to That Coaster Queen. I am Jay Justine, but we're out of drag, so it's Ben, and we are back for another episode of Coaster Queens, the vlogs. Yes, I don't know, I'm delirious, stay with me. We are here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, woo! I have been here a couple of times before when I was a kid, but I've not been here for a very long time. So I am joined by Mama Jules, or Mama Justine, Mama Julie, whatever you want to mama something. And I'm also joined by Lucy and Adia. Ta-da! <laughs> so, Mom, you've been to Blackpool, correct? Yep, time. Yeah. Adia, you went as a kid, didn't you? No, I went as a student. student. Oh, a student, a student. not yeah. a kid. Yeah, I can't really remember our whole No. And Lucy, Never been to Blackpool, let alone the Pleasure Beach. Yep, we have got a Pleasure Beach version with us today, everybody. We're gonna get back on some rides that I loved as a kid, get back on some rides that you looked, loved as a drunk up student, and uh, and also all of us get some new coaster creds as well today. Ah! It's my 30th birthday, can you believe it? Oh, we're at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, let's have a Campbell time. Let's do this, Woo! Oh! Hey, Gromit! Do you want a picture with Gromit, Mum? Why me? Because you just happen Hello? Get you all in, guys. Get you all together. <laughs> oh. Okay. Two other side, two other Oh, we're on green screen. Okie dokie. Right, so we've just had a photo on the green screen here. Oh, Gromit's helping with the photos, aren't you, Gromit? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you do a splendid job, aren't you, Gromit? Oh, there you go. Sunny day today, so you can be a little bit warm. Wallace is in on the photos now. Um, Even though he wasn't there in person. Oh, cool. They're fun, oh, aren't that they? One. That one's cool. They're they are. Cool. They are really fun. Price list just here for you. You've got your photos, key rings, you've got your deals, you've got your individual items. There you go. One photo, $30. That's really fun. <laughs> if you've got any big Wallace and Gromit fans, this is a little green screen. Just there. Thank you very much, both. You're welcome. See you later. Cheers. Bye. First ride of the day. Wallace and Gromit, very excited. Let's do this. There we are. Look at the slippers. Oh, I'm so excited. There we go. Are we tall enough? I think we are. Gorgeous. Thank you very much, Lee. Well, my loves, we've just done Wallace and Gromit's Thrillomatic for the first time. I'm not going to lie, that was a really, really enjoyable dark ride. Like, really, really enjoyed that. Loads of great theming, good audio, some funny bits. Yeah, just love it. 
I love Wallace and Gromit anyway, so I was always going to enjoy it. But I think even if you're not a huge Wallace and Gromit fan, I think you'll like it. It's a, it's a good dark ride here in the UK. I'm I'm quite I'm quite chuffed with that. I was, I was quite impressed by it. I don't know what I was expecting, but that was really fun. No, it was more fun than I was expecting. Yeah. Gorgeous. I loved it. Should we go get on a coaster, darling? Yes. I think we know which one we're going on. I think is it time for a cheeky, uh, cheeky little big one? <laughs> When is it not time for a big one, darling? Let's go. So we have just had a cheeky front row ride on the big one. Woo! Yes, technically my 50th coaster cred as well, which is quite camp. Lucy's first hyper coaster. Um, as a curvy lady, that kind of sucked a little bit in terms of <laughs> The pain in the seat, but I don't think it's just us fat queens that had an issue with that. Christ. Got the noisy, noisy lift hill. Yeah. Um, a lot of fun, but bearing in mind that that had like a partial retrack, that was rough. Like, she was running rough today. One train as well, so really quite slow operations. But apart from that, it's quite, quite a quiet day here. Um, but yes, do we all enjoy the big one? No. Yeah, it was kind of a Too rough for you, right, Mum? Yeah, I got airtight, so I got a bit scared. <laughs> you got a little bit scared. Scared. Yeah. Anyway, alright, darlings. Well, should we should we hop onto Steeplechase, but I know it's behind us? Ooh, yeah, yeah, why not? Yeah. Shall we? Yeah. And see which colour horses or colour tracks should we say we get. Um again. You've been on this, haven't you? No, I haven't been on this one. No? No. Gorgeous. So it's a new cred for Lucy and a deal. Yeah. Ah, gorgeous. Right. Steeplechase next. Right over. Let's do it. Huh? Enjoy the ride. Let's move fast, guys. Yep, sure. I need back now. You're gonna hate it, just hold on tight, it's very rickety. Yeah. I know. I uh, at least I've got a question, we'll do it. I've got all the questions in the back. Did you enjoy that? <laughs> so as you've seen, we have done the red track, cred. And now, because it's no queue, we're doing the green track. Yay! How was the, how was the red track for you? Oh, it wasn't as bad as I thought, but as a curb lady, it hurt my ass. This is going to be a theme, I think. Yeah, that was... <laughs> hurt me back a little bit, not going to lie. It's very rough. And also... Brace yourselves when you come back into the station because if you're not braced, you're going to go. Um, it's, it's 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 fun. It's a different it kind of cute. coaster. It hurt less than the big one. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair. Yeah. It's ludicrous. Yeah. So. Bearing in mind, you're riding horse on this. Yeah. So we have just done some rides on Steeplechase, the green rail and the red rail but not the yellow rail because it's not open today. So we've only got two out of three. Um, but a little, little donut break. And now we're about to climb the mammoth stairs. Oh, it's a lot of stairs. It's a lot of stairs to go and do. Yeah. Revolution. Can we just point out, this is a first coaster cred for all four of us. Yeah. Come. Right, let's climb these stairs. Wish us luck, and we'll let you know how it is when we get off. We excited? Yes. Yeah. Ooh. Here we go.
<laughs> Thoughts, feelings, emotions. Well, it was a lot more comfortable than the others, but I grayed out both ways. That was, so that was wild. I don't know whether it's because I'm short, but it really got my shoulders when yeah. it lifted me up. And stuff. I, I like the backwards forwards bit. That was, it was really weird to see the spiral from that direction. Yeah. yeah. It was it was fun though. Yeah, like, it, it was. It, it's the, the smoothest ride we've been on so far. Yeah. And it still hurt, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was It was fun! It, it was, was camp! That was my favourite of the day yeah. so far. Even Loved though she's nearly black tail. Yeah. yeah. Camp, right, let's have a little a wander. And see, I think I think Avalanche may be next on the list. Very loud, very noisy, very lovely sunny day. And we're by the beach, how gorgeous. First impressions of the Pleasure Beach so far, Lucy. It's calm, I like the atmosphere, it's really good. There's always a little like, background music going on around. It yeah. like, gets you feeling a bit, not festive. I mean, no. summery kind of festive. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely, it's definitely different. Uh, coming here and kind of like, all the coasters being on top of each other and just. Yeah, that's why I find so strange. It's all like knotted together, it's crazy. Yeah. It's fun though. There's Revolution behind me. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> um, we're going to go find another coaster now. Because, oh, look at that. Oh, Avalanche. Look at that. I guess we're doing Avalanche then, everybody. Yes. That's cool. <laughs> oh, I think it's one, is it? Two per car, two per car. The theming in here is wonderful. One on our own, yeah? You go on your own, you'll be fine. So, we've just done Avalanche. That was that was quite quick and camp and on off. Yes, what do we think, everybody? Oh, that's, that's my favourite of the day now. I liked it, but I think I'd have preferred to have sat with someone because it kept slipping. Yeah. It was faster than I expected. Yeah, yeah it was. It was really yeah. fun. I thought it was going to be like a, like a slow, gentle thing, but no, it was awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Short, it was shorter than I expected as well. It was quite yeah. a short ride. Yeah. Um, yeah, how was it? For, I was at the back. It was a bit, it was quite rough for me at the back. It wasn't like rough. It was definitely it was like middle. jumping, but that's, I think that's because of the terrain it was on. Yes. Fair. Yeah, to be fair. Yeah, I, I think rough. In comparison to the big one and others, yeah, I think oh, rough. One was the worst yeah, one the big there. one was rough and like when you took corners, it literally jolted. Yeah, yeah that, whereas that, that was, was just like a bit bumpy. That one didn't hurt. No, no, no. that one was just fun. Yeah. Oh, avalanche! And the theming was good. Yeah, the theming, oh, yeah. the theming's oh, lovely in there. There's bears over there. Hey. Oh, but right, hang on, bear with. We missed the bears. There's bears. The sun's doing something weird to the camera, but anyway. How many bears can you count? A one, a two, a three, four! <laughs> Who is that a bear with the chipmunks? It's a dilly! The day was going well, right? <laughs> we were being camp, we were being fun, we were being silly, counting how many bears were there. Uh, that is a little bit of an inside joke, by the way. Lucy is otter and Dilly is bear. Yes, they are aware of what they mean in the gay world, but it's their own little thing, so we just go with it. <laughs> See, I'm giving you all the information you don't need. So anyway, we decided that we were going to head to Icon next for our ride. Um, we were going to do Infusion because we, we, we knew that Infusion was rough and Icon was... Let's be real, it was the most hyped ride of the day. Like, easily, we were all so hyped to be getting on it, and we wanted to kind of start with the big one and finish with Icon, you know, coaster creds wise. So we were like, nah, let's just go Icon. Like, we can't wait any longer. We're desperate. Like, let's get on it. 
So we were walking around and trying to find the access entrance, obviously, because, you know, we had the wristband, which if you are curious, is for neurodivergency and fibromyalgia, um, which I might go into in another video and uh, who am I or explain everything as to why I have the pass, but that's not what this is about. We are digressing. So yes, we couldn't find the entrance, um, which if you are looking for it, if you're by um, Avalanche, Avalanche is on your left, you need to walk all the way down the path to then round to the left. And it looks like you, you're in an area you shouldn't be in the park. It doesn't look like you should be there. Um, but you are, you're meant to. It's loads of scaffolding and stuff, but I think that is because of the work that's being done on the Big Dipper. No idea, first trip to the park. Anyway, oh, is the sun gone in? Is the sun gone in? Oh God, no, that's still bright. So yes, carry that pathway round and then round to the left and you'll see, you know, finally some signposts. Honestly, it was <laughs> so badly signposted. We honestly spent about 25 minutes trying to figure out this entrance, which at that point we could have just gone down the, the main queue line because it was empty. But say la vie, you live, you learn, you move on. You know what I mean? We found the queue line, we walked down and there was no queue, um, <laughs> of course. And um, we literally walked through the turnstile and were ushered straight on to the back of the trains, like literally like rushed right back, blah, 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 everything in, which obviously is a, is a plus, but, you know, <laughs> walking straight onto a ride, you know, I'm not complaining about that, but it was all, it was all chaotic, you know? So I sat in my seat and I got my lap bar down and I was sat there and I was, you know, taking it all in as someone who's neurodivergent, it was, you know, new things are really exciting, but they can also be really daunting, especially like, you know, stimuli things and oh, I can't even get any words up, but you know what I mean? It was new, it felt different. I'd not been on that ride vehicle, that ride type, um, that train type, should I say, before. Um, I was very excited to go on it. And I was kind of taking it in and being like, yes, okay, I like this, you know, this feels weird, but I like this, I'm getting used to it. It's all fine, everything was fine. And then the ride operator, one of the ride operators, you know, coming down, checking, came and pushed what felt like his entire weight. <laughs> like, <laughs> I might be dramatic, but honestly, at this point, like, it, it right, pushed my lap bar right into me, rather than, you know, checking that it, it pushed it, like, full-on pouted right into me, and, like, I mean, it might be a bit of an over-exaggeration saying that he winded me, but honestly, it kind of felt like that. Like, it, it kind of went... <coughs> and I, I literally had to, like, <gasps> like, catch my breath, which then sparked me <laughs> into having a little bit of a freak out and a panic attack because it was kind of like, I've struggled to breathe. This is dug into me, everything. I'm like, what is going on? This is all happening very, very quickly. Um, so I'm like screaming, like, I don't even remember at this point. Bearing in mind, like there was hardly, there wasn't a full train worth of people waiting. There was like a few pens full. We were, they, they were still waiting for a full train after the one that we're on, you know? There was no rush. There was no rush, people. I think the ride had started to go and he pressed a button and, you know, it stopped and he, he the guy came to me and rather than asking me what's happening, what's going on, are you okay, what can I do, any of those questions. He decided that he was just gonna start telling me that it is a family coaster, it's not scary, um, that I'm going to be okay, why am, I, why am I being scared? Look at you, you're a grown person, or I think he probably said grown man, or whatever, you know. Um, why, are you, why, are you, why are you scared of this? To the point that I then obviously said like, I'm not scared of the coaster. I'm having a panic attack because you hurt me. And at that point, he then proceeded to tell me, um, or basically ask, basically say to me, um, so are you, gonna, are you gonna stay on this ride? Uh, or am I gonna have to get you off? Because if I get you off this ride, then you're gonna upset a hell of a lot of people that are all on this train waiting to go, and we're gonna have to reset, and it's gonna be a whole thing. So am I gonna have to do that? Or are you gonna suck it up and you're gonna stay on the ride? Something along those lines. I don't think he said suck it up. I'm, I'm just trying to, it's like a month ago now, so I'm paraphrasing at this point. Um, but uh, uh, effectively, that was the energy that he was giving me, was basically just being like, you are being an inconvenience. You are annoying me right now. And if you don't let me send this train, then 
these are going to be the consequences and you're going to upset X amount of people and blah, 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 all of this. So in that moment, I just said, send the train. And I was still trying to catch my breath. Um, and I spent my first ride, my first ever experience on Icon, on a Mac launch coaster with those new train types, the seats and everything. I spent pretty much blacked out, not blacked out, but mentally, uh, like I was not there. I was just crying, stream, like tears were streaming down my face. And I just remember getting into the, the station at the end and the bar coming off and just headlining, just going. I was like, get me out of here. I, I need to get out of here. Don't remember the ride. Um, but I will say I wasn't bracing myself. Um, I wasn't actively aware of where the ride was going or what we were doing. And I came off absolutely fine. Like I did not hurt. So I think <laughs> that goes to say something positive about Icon, doesn't it? But anyway, we've got to try and find the positives, haven't we? We've got to, we've got to. So because of all that that had happened, I just basically headlined to the to the to the the park entrance exit whatever and I just left the park I just went I had to get out of there um and I went back to the car and just took some time to kind of like breathe recenter kind of go over what happened in my head and just try and kind of you know work it out figure it out you know <sighs> complex bloody brain up in here you know what I mean <laughs> it's not it's not easy <laughs> but we managed it we did we managed it whilst we went to the car uh Lucy and Adil obviously went went to guest services not necessarily to complain but more just because we were all kind of just shocked at how it was handled and how I was treated to be honest with you we needed to make the park aware that this had happened for, for the obvious reasons you know to make sure that this doesn't happen again uh, to somebody else. And the way that he spoke to me was so rude and demeaning that honestly, like, I don't, th I think it would have affected anybody. So I don't know. I don't know. This neurodivergency is all new to me. Honestly, it's <laughs> still a journey. So we came back in the park, met up with Lucy and Adil, and rather than going straight on Valhalla, we decided that we were going to head over to Nickelodeon land because the rides over there were going to be closing early and we needed to get the coasters. Obviously, we've got to get the coaster credits. We had a lovely cheeky little ride on Blue Flyer, insert picture, <laughs> which honestly <laughs> is such a camp little like junior family woody. Um, like had a really good time on there and like weirdly enough, Brought, just brought back so many memories like I was like oh my god I, rem I remember I remember being on this when I was younger like this is so weird like I love that I love it when things like that happen especially in parks and I oh, just yeah and then we carried on with some more of the rides in Nickelodeon land enjoy what are we going on now Nickelodeon, something. Nickelodeon street oh. Nickelodeon. I wonder how this is going to compare to uh, Incredicoaster. Well, <laughs> spoiler alert, it won't. It's Nickelodeon. That is uncomfortable. Is it uncomfortable? <laughs> It'll be fine. It's going to be sh** around corners. <laughs> Excited? Hey, boo. Nickelodeon streak. So Row five, on? seat one. That's a me log ride. Yes. We'll see you after the ride. Ah. There we go. <laughs> Fabulous. Yeah. yeah, it was quite it was quite fun. It was a little bit rough, but it's not a woody. Like a, not in like a Lucy. Lucy said it's okay, we'll dry up and she does not like water rides. I hate water rides. Lucy, do you like water rides? No, so I this hate water rides every yeah. 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes our Uber. Yes. Four. Are we going Who's going in who? I don't know. So bags in the other side, all two, one, two, and three. Gorgeous. Are you going in the back? See you after. Are you back? Are you back? No! Oh! 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 Oh!
you too. Take care. Bye, Jennifer. Bye, Jennifer. Hang on. Oh, Lucy, on. wet check. It's all over my boobs. <laughs> Dilly, wet check. It's all over his boobs. <laughs> and the foundation marks on my ass. <laughs> Let the records show that this was Lucy's idea. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, oh. Oh. Look at, look at that. <laughs> Mum, oh, look at that. Soaked. Soaked. Feet are soaked and look. Ring wet. Oh no. I don't even know where. It's mainly on your hood or on your back. No. Oh yes, I can feel that. <laughs> and my feet. <laughs> dun, dun, ding, 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 ding. You seen that? I love that one on YouTube. Feel these trousers. I don't need to feel them, darling. Right. Plan. Food. 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 We've got a few Q creds. We did Blue Flyer. Yes. Nick Streak. Yeah. Rugrats River Rafts. It's called Lost River. Rugrats Lost River. Lost River. Oh yeah, it's right there. It's right there. Gorgeous. What are we going on? The ghost train. Oh, no. <laughs> are we excited? Yeah, it's going to be very dark. This looks really fun, actually. Cool. Ghost train. We'll let you know how it is. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. It's going to be average, normal light for me, and it's going to be very, very dark for a deal. I can't believe you haven't bought your normal glasses. Well, I wasn't really thinking about it. <laughs> I might just have to take my glasses off. Yeah, maybe. And have a blurred one. Yeah. Make the ghost train blurry. <laughs> anyway, right, see you after. There you go, yeah. So, Ghost Train has <laughs> just broken down as we have just managed to get off it. And I'm not surprised because as we were going round, we kind of got to a scene and there was a car in front of us, like stationary. And then for the. <laughs> yeah. For the rest of it, we were just kind of pushing these. Like, literally. Like our car was pushing them back round and as soon as us two uh, like yeah. came back into the thing, it stopped. Yeah, oh, a big and alarm went off. Big though. alarm went off, yes. If we weren't sure it was part of the ride or not. <laughs> I don't think it was. No, I don't think so. <laughs> so then we just kind of, were really confused, got <laughs> off and then we've looked around and there's people now just stuck on the ride, just being like, oh, what's happening? So um, we almost, almost had a, a ride evacuation on yeah. Ghost Train. <laughs> Well, I wouldn't like to be stuck inside. No. I mean, it's not particularly scary. It'd just be a bit claustrophobic and uncomfortable. Yeah. I mean, how did you find it, though? <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> it was a bit... It, it need, needs a bit of work. Yeah. But, uh, it was quite fun. It was it. fun. It was fun. Yeah. It was it was cute. It was cute. Yeah, there was one jump scare. There was, there was one, one, <laughs> one moment that got us both. Um, we had a little, little, little yeah, bit of a... A little... Oh. A little, a little, a little but no, it was fun. Yeah. Yeah, glad we did it. Yeah. And we have now found the others for some food. <laughs> so we are going to have a little make way round to the oyster bar and see what we've got on offer. Oh, wow. Look at this. Oysters, ocean sticks, ocean tails. Ooh, a dipper tray looks camp. Welks. Oh, lobster tail. Oh. Now, now you're just being naughty. Mussels, cockles, whelks. They go prawns with or without sauce. Prawn and melon, seafood mix. Can I get a little pot of prawns with sauce, please? Do I just get a little pot or do I get a prawn cocktail? Good? Yeah. Yeah? Good sauce. How much sauce do you get in it? Quite a lot. Okay. So after we had enjoyed our food, including a lovely little prawn pot with some sauce, thank you very much, Ask Nemesis, for the uh, recommendation. I am with you, my friend. I am with you. Mwah. Elite. Absolute elite. We then decided to go nearby on a lovely little ride on the Grand National, dears. Yes, the Grand National. Never again, as long as I effing live. <laughs> No. <laughs> oh my god. 
Right, so Lucy's a no. Adil, are you a yes or a no? No. Huh? No? Yeah. Mum? Absolutely yes. My <laughs> Do you know what? That was really quite painful at times, but also I quite enjoyed it. So I feel like I'm in between. <laughs> because I, I don't love it, but I don't hate it. There you go. We got the cred. It's a one and done for Lucy. Never again. <laughs> right, after that, I think we should have a nice little relaxing ride, I think. Relaxing ride? Do you mean, um, uh, what's it called? Yes and S one? No, I mean. Oh, God. The River Cave. Oh, River caves, everyone. I'm oh. fully here for that decision. Yeah. We're going in here. River caves, the tunnel of love. We're going to do the river caves. Here we go then. Into the tunnel of love. How lovely. Thank you very much, Lee. Right. We shall see you after. I guess so. We have just done the river caves. It was cute. It was lovely. Oh, fish and chips. They lied. Donuts. Oh, seagull. Uh, <laughs> hot dogs, waffles and crepes, all of that. And we're going to have a little ride on Infusion, which is our last coaster cred of the day. And then we have achieved every coaster that is open at the moment, which is really fun. So Mama Jay decided she didn't want to come on Infusion. She didn't fancy it. So we actually have some off-ride footage of us on the ride. Ah! Oh, there we are, waving. Hello! <laughs> oh, zoom out, cam. Get the full, yeah, yeah, get it in. Right, you're gonna hear me scream, yeah, as we go down the drop. Right, you ready? About now. The excitement and fun soon turned into pain though. <laughs> just wait for the second time we come past. Like, listen, and you can just hear me in so much pain. After a rough and painful ride on Infusion, still camp though, we decided it was near the end of the day, you know what, let's give Icon another go. Let's try and do this because we are so desperate to have a good ride on it and to have a good experience. Like you don't understand how excited I was to get on this ride. Like this was like one of the main reasons for coming to Blackpool. I'd not done Icon before and everyone raves about it. Like even some of you even say it's the best coaster in the UK. So, you know, we were desperate. So we went back, obviously we, we were by Infusion so we could cut straight through down to the access queue, all, all groovy. Um, we walked down and unlike the time before, it was actually quite busy in there. And I could see that there was no one stopping people coming through the turnstiles. So the entire like gates, the pen kind of thing for the, everyone was rammed full. There must have been like at least four trains worth of people in there all crammed in. So when we got to the turnstiles, we, we stood and waited because obviously I, I, like, I, would, I would not have dealt very well in that close environment with the amount of people that were in there. So we stood and we just waited for, you know, it to go through. And then I looked to my right and the same guy who I'd experienced the issue with prior had now been rotated around and he was now the person or one of the two people that was stood by the turnstiles. Case surprise. No one was manning it because he was too busy having an, a natter with his friend or whatever. So I kind of just tried to ignore and but I was, you know, very much aware of him in my peripheral. Which is then uh, when I started to see him nudge his friend and point at me and then start to laugh. And then as I looked over, he then rolled his eyes and he laughed at me. And um, 
I, uh, I just, I don't understand what was going on. I don't know what the situation was, but still, it made me extremely uncomfortable. So I was like, nah, not today, not today. Turn around, let's get out. So we did, and we decided we still had a bit of time left before the uh, rides closed. So we were like, right, let's go and get on Valhalla. Like, let's kind of end the day with Valhalla. Maybe we can do something else nearby if there's time afterwards, depending on how long it takes or whatever. Just trying to compose myself, just trying to, you know, everything, all great. We walked around the corner and the waterfalls were off. There was a sign saying it was closed. Valhalla had closed early for the day, earlier than advertised. Don't know what that was, but yes, it was closed. Which, as you can imagine, <laughs> was not the best situation, everybody. But we decided, no, we're not ending the day there. One more ride, let's do one more ride. So mum and I popped back on uh, Grand National for another ride, Lucy and Adil did not, which is no surprise to anybody. Last ride of the day. Now that <laughs> is painful. The two most hyped rides of the day, Icon, ruined, and Valhalla, closed. So what I will say is if you do, if Valhalla is important to you, make sure that you get on it early. Don't, don't leave it, don't wait. Make sure you get on it because otherwise you will be disappointed <laughs> like we were. It had the potential to be a really, really good day and a great birthday, um, but unfortunately was just ruined by said events. I am interested though, has anyone had any similar experiences of Blackpool Pleasure Beach? Or completely on the other hand, has anyone had any really positive experiences at Blackpool Pleasure Beach? Like, I would love to know, honestly, because I, I will be going back. I've got to do Valhalla. I've got to try Icon again. I'm not going to let one staff member ruin my opinion of the park that I, 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 I had a lot of love for. And I still do. Thank you very much for watching this slightly different video vlog today. I hope I haven't waffled too much. <laughs> Although I'm doing it again now, aren't I? If you have enjoyed this content, then please do make sure that you like, comment and subscribe because it all really does help me grow the channel. But yeah, until next time, thank you for watching. I have been that coaster queen, Jay Justine, and I will see you real soon. Goodbye. <laughs> subscribe. <laughs>